the first time I had a mentor call with Bob Proctor, I was like 20 years old. And he asked how much money I was making at that time. And at the time I was making just around 1500 to 2000 a month, depending on the month. And he said, so what's your goal? And I'm like, well, I mean, what's that? 20, 30 grand a year. I mean, if I could make a hundred grand in a year ever, that'd be the most amazing thing ever. And he's like, that's a really small goal. Why not a hundred thousand in a month? He said, the first goal should be to turn your annual income into your monthly income and beyond. And I'm like, $100,000? Like, I don't know. And he's like, there is no such thing as big or small. Just think, if quantum physics and all reality is based off of consciousness, it's just our own paradigm, our own perception, and our own program. Well, I almost didn't ever do another call with him because he told me, if you do not do exactly what I tell you to do, we're not going to talk anymore. He's like, look, I've, I've got people paying me $500,000 a year for this type of coaching. I'll do it for free, but you do what I say. So I'm like, okay, my goal is $100,000. I have no idea how to do it. Well, crazy thing happened. It took me a little while, probably 12 to 18 months, but I started making $100,000 a month. And when I told Bob that I was there, he goes, okay, so what's next? And I'm like, well, I mean, if I could do 100,000 like every month, that'd be a good next step, right? I've only done it a couple times. If I could do 100,000 every month, that'd be awesome. And he's like, you already know how to do 100,000. Why would you make that your goal again? And I'm like, well, I haven't done it every month. And he's like, yeah, but the whole point of a goal is who you become in the process. So he's like, what's another goal? And I'm like, well, 125, 150? I mean, that doesn't even sound believable anyways. And he goes, ah, try something bigger. And I'm like, 200,000 in a month? And he's like, no, $500,000 in a month. And I remember when he told me that, it sounded so ridiculous. I didn't even want it to. It sounds ridiculous just telling you right now that type of 5, 10 xing every single goal as soon as you're there. I didn't even want to tell my wife about how the call went. Well, the crazy thing that I learned is there is no such thing as big or small. The next thing that I learned from Bob was to focus on what you want, not the price of things. So once I started making huge headway in my business, we had a call towards the end of Bob's life. And I was doing so well that unlike my usual calls with Bob, where I would just ask a bunch of questions and try to get a bunch of help, we we're kind of talking you know, more casually. It was, we were more just talking as friends. And he's like, you know, I'm proud of you for what you did, but if I made how much money you made, I'd be in serious trouble and I might be bankrupt. So here's his paradigm. And I'm like, I'm making, that's $200,000. And he's like, yeah, I mean, if I made that much, I'd be bankrupt. And he wasn't saying it in an insulting way. His point was to point out how everything is relative based off of your paradigm. So he tells me about how recently he wanted to go get a new car. He's like, heck, I don't even drive. But I don't know. I decided, you know, I might want a Rolls Royce. So he goes into the Rolls Royce dealership and he's looking at the cars and, you know, Obviously, these are extremely expensive cars, whatever they are, two, three hundred grand US dollars. And he's looking at this one and he's going to get it, but he doesn't love, he's not super stoked off of it. And he asks to go to the restroom. And as he's walking by, he sees that one custom car 
you know, that all dealerships have, the really expensive one that's just super nice. And he walks by and he looks at it and it's got custom embroidered headrests and all this stuff. And he turns back and he says, I'll take this one instead. And the guy says, well, don't you want to know how much it costs? And he's like, no, I'll take this one instead. So he tells me, I never even drove the thing yet. It's just sitting in my garage. But it says Bob Proctor carved into the headrests and all this type of stuff. And the point is that everything is relative. The only reason you think it's big is because you're carrying around your past. And when you get to this place, as he taught, to focus on what you want and you're not obsessed with the numbers, the money itself, then by default, your, your consciousness raises and your financial life raises to a point where you no longer need to look at the price tags of everything. You just walk down and as Bob, you just go, yeah, I'll take this thing for 600 grand. Do you wanna know how much it costs? Nope, don't really care. Now, the way that you start to do this is to reprogram your subconscious. And I have a free financial success hypnosis. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's pinned as the top comment or it's in the description right there down below where you can click right here. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's my free financial success hypnosis. Now, the experts say when you use some type of subconscious reprogramming every day, even if you only listen one day for 30 seconds and the next day it's for 14 minutes, the fact of doing it every day is what reprograms your subconscious and 95% of your life is controlled subconsciously. So how much money you earn, your beliefs, your confidence, the people that you attract into your life, it's all subconscious habits and patterns. The cool thing about the subconscious is it can be reprogrammed through daily repetition. So get my free financial success hypnosis. Just listen to it for two, three, four minutes one day while you're cooking, while you're showering before sleep. And that's what starts to shift the paradigm of your reality. And then you kind of just wake up and everything's in a different world because your entire subconscious blueprint of reality has changed. So you can click right here or go to jakeshypnosis.com. Now, since we were talking about Rolls Royces and all that stuff, one of the last conversations that I had with Bob, he was talking about how when he lived in Toronto, the business closures during 2020, 2021, 2022 had really made a big effect on a lot of businesses. And he was talking about how now, Jake, now that you're figuring out how this whole paradigm thing creates your whole reality, even your bank account, the key is to recognize that money can only make you comfortable, nothing else. It's not gonna make you happy, it can make you comfortable, and it can extend the good that you can do far beyond your own physical presence. And he called this the law of increase. So he's like, like you get to this point where I just got my hair cut the other day and the lady in there, I just gave her a $500 cash tip and she started crying. That's the impression of increase the law of increase. Everywhere you go, you're increasing the vibe. Now, Bob made a bunch of money and had this big company, but he'd never thought about it. He used to say, only when you start to master your money consciousness and you have a lot of money, do you realize you never think about money. You get obsessed with money and you think about money all the time when you don't have any. And it's kind of counterintuitive. Like his focus was on, he built a school, he funded a school to be built in Africa once a week. And his goal was to get to building one every day. Obviously it's not gonna be completed in one day, but the money was put aside on a weekly basis and his goal was to get to a monthly basis. So his focus was on a purpose, not on the end goal. And that type of reverse psychology shift creates a vibration of abundance that makes you have a powerful point of attraction to manifest things in your life 
without as much effort because you're not using force. Things are coming to you due to your frequency. And that leads us to big idea number four, negative people, right? Like I'm sure you have somebody in your life or you have had someone in your life where it's just difficult. And Bob used to say, don't go as often and don't stay as long. So one of the first times I ever had a mentor call with him, I was kind of embarrassed because he asked me, are you doing speeches and workshops and stuff like that? And I had just done one, but I had like, I don't know, seven or eight people that came. And I felt embarrassed because this is Bob Proctor and he's in the movie The Secret and thousands of people come to see him wherever he speaks. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, how many people came? I'm like, 20, you know, just like rounding up a little bit. And he's like, oh, that's great. Don't worry. So he tells me a story. Bob was deciding to start to build his seminar business and become a speaker in this personal development type of of space. And before he was head of sales for a big company and secretly he recorded his first ever audio program and it was going to be the first thing he was going to sell and market as he stepped out on his own as what we would eventually know as Bob Proctor. So he tells his best friend about it and he has his best friend listen to the audio seminar. And the guy thought he was kidding. And after it finished, he said, you know, I don't think this is a good idea. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't quit your job. I don't think people are going to like this stuff. And tries to talk some sense into Bob. So Bob said, you know, I decided for about five or six hours, the rest of the afternoon at least, that he was right. And I was going to quit before I started. And later that afternoon, I changed my mind and I decided to do it. And he quit talking to the guy as often, not staying as long. Don't go as often, don't stay as long. I used to always say, thank you, but that's not part of my belief system. When someone tells you, thank you, but that's not part of my, maybe part of yours, it's not a part of mine. And that's why using success hypnosis is so important because if you don't brainwash yourself, the world is going to brainwash you. The people around you are going to brainwash you for their own limitations. It'll go right into your subconscious mind if you don't reject that impression, that belief, that energy that they're projecting. So you can get my free success hypnosis, start to reprogram that and brainwash yourself. Put it into your mind instead of their crap into your mind. And you can get that for free. It's jakeshypnosis.com. You can click right here or go to jakeshypnosis.com. Just use it every single day. But the crazy thing about that story is his friend ended up being right, at least in the short term, which leads us into the next thing that I learned from him, which is don't focus on the results. Even if things aren't going your way, if you can build that picture and stay within that picture in your mind, that vision within your mind, and not let the circumstances or your reaction to them start to control your consciousness because then the world, the circumstances, the rejection has brainwashed you. And that's why I say brainwash yourself before the world brainwashes you. So he decides he's gonna go for it and he's gonna start off with a bang and rent a thousand person theater in Chicago for his first event. So he gets his big mailing list and he sends out 20 or 30,000 of these mailings to promote it, got everything all dialed. And this is gonna be so big, he hires ushers to bring people down the aisles of this huge theater. And as he's getting ready for the event, he's behind the curtain and he's got all the all the aisle people out there. He was giving them all the instructions on how this is probably gonna be you know, too full and you need to make sure that when you're bringing people to their seats that you're not obstructing everyone else's view. Couple minutes before it starts, pulls back the curtain and he looks out and 
There are two people there. He rented a thousand person theater and only two people came. Like what? Think about how much money you would lose doing that and how much of your own self-confidence you would lose doing that. But what did he do? He just ran the seminar like nothing happened and it was full of thousands of people. And that was the first event he ever did. Well, he ended up being one of the greatest uh, new thought and, and, and positive psychology speakers uh, probably in, in history. And that shows that if you don't allow the results to control your thinking, you can create your own reality. Wallace Waddles used to say, lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Just because there is a lack of evidence right now doesn't mean that it is a real evidence of lack. Now, what happens is on your journey to creating your reality, you hit those roadblocks. Then, because we have an animalistic uh, reactionary consciousness, we trigger the amygdala, which is the fear center of our brain. You say, I'm gonna do this big thing, and then you get rejected. Or Bob's like, I'm gonna quit my job and do all this, and I rented this huge theater, and two people are there. Boom, the amygdala sparks, all the fear, and it's like, oh crap, I don't actually, maybe this doesn't work. And when that happens, most people get swallowed by that thought pattern, by that reactionary consciousness, or the rejection, what somebody else said, what something else happened. And then we internalize that. And once we internalize that, that subconscious program strengthens itself. And we continue to not be able to see that what you desire is just waiting for you to no longer be controlled by your five senses. So I'd love to know which of these lessons speaks to you most in your life right now. You can let me know in the comments right there down below. Let me know where in the world you're coming from. I'm in the southwest of the United States, wishing you a beautiful day. So love to know where in the world you're coming from. You can let me know down below. If you haven't yet, make sure you get my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com. You can click right here or it's linked down below. Just use it every day, even if it's for a couple minutes. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Bob Proctor lessons and stories that I learned, give me a comment right there down below and you can click right here to watch another one.